It might have originally been a Labour vision, but HS2 became symbolic for the Conservatives, a narrowing of the north-south divide. Job done, job done. Almost, <laughs> not job done. Yes, no, no. <laughs> HS2 was meant to be a boost to all services across the rail network in the north, but after 13 years, that commitment has ended. When Conservative leader after Conservative leader has come to this city and promised the people of this city region and the north of England new north-south lines, new east-west lines, new rail infrastructure across, across the north, it's no way uh, to, to do things, it's no way to run a country. Passengers in Manchester had mixed feelings about not being connected to HS2. That's going to be hugely disappointing, to be honest. I think that, that's really going to be good for the whole country. I think it would be more accessible if it actually came to Manchester. You'd be able to get, well, you'd be able to get, able to, get to London a lot easier. So, yeah, I don't know why they've stopped it. The scrapping of HS2 to Manchester is the latest chapter in a sorry story when it comes to the quality of rail transport in this part of the world. For years now, trains have run late or have been cancelled altogether, and thousands of passengers have grown increasingly frustrated. But HS2 wasn't just about trains for the north. It was an economic leveller too. Mark Wrigley owns a bar right in the city centre. He was looking forward to a boost in business that the new fast rail line would bring. I think for the whole area of Manchester, the city of Manchester, it's not helpful at all. Um, that connectivity for these big, you know, big cities is really important. That's my understanding. And so I think it ain't going to help. There's a big promise for the north. There's an election looming. I just wonder whether that's, that plays into how you feel about the government now. Well, they're not interested in the North, full stop. The government says the money saved from scrapping the line will go towards improving these rail services. But with such a big promise, now in tatters, it might have to be seen to be believed. Nick Martin, Sky News in Manchester.